room with her because I wasn't the person that she thought I was. And where does this fit into just, uh, you use the word chaos, but yep. uh, we would use the political uncertainties of America yep. voting for Trump or electing Trump at any rate, uh, us voting to leave the European Union, we've been in for 40 years, uh, the Italians uh, voting for fringe parties, strong men emerging elsewhere. Is that the chaos you're Brutal talking men. about? I wouldn't call them strong. Brutal and strong aren't the same thing, and people shouldn't confuse them. So, but fair enough. Well, strong men's, as you know. I know, uh, I know, uh, I know. But it's an unfortunate term because it confuses strength with brutality, and, and I think that is a mistake. And you know, because to be strong is to be resilient and and to be noble and to be courageous, not yeah. to oppress. So people. you wouldn't see the Putins and the Kim Jong Uns and the Donald Trumps as being role models. Well, I wouldn't lump those three together. The first two I would. Trump is his own sort of creature, and I'm not exactly sure what to make of them, but I certainly wouldn't consider them strong in any, in any admirable sense. So Trump you wouldn't put in that category? No, no. He's no. fairly brutal in the way he talks about his opponents and consequences of some of his yeah, actions we've Trump seen in the Middle East. I don't think that Trump is a phenomenon that hasn't been seen before in American politics. There's been lots of times in the last 30 years when the president? Americans were put in... Ah, things were pretty pretty strange around the time of Nixon. And from 1968 to 1972, the U.S. was more polarized than it is now. So I think we've seen this sort of thing before. I mean, Trump is a strange guy, and he's come up to the presidency through his own peculiar route. But Americans are still 50% Republican and 50% Democrat, right down the line like they have been for the last four elections. Jordan Peterson there. Rotten and reckless, just two of the criticisms directed towards the board of Carillion in a damning news.